Finding winning products to sell on Amazon can be hard for beginners, but AI just changed everything. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find winning products to sell on Amazon in under 10 minutes using AI. And if you stick around to that in this video, I'm going to show you some special secret product sourcing acts that'll make a huge difference with your Amazon FBA product research. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, we have ChatGPT pulled up right here. If you're not using ChatGPT just in life and as an Amazon seller, you're super, super missing out. And as beginner sellers that might be struggling with product research, we want to start out with the biggest niches that have the most availability of different products. So I'm just going to ask ChatGPT right here, what are the largest categories for Amazon sellers in 2025? And then what we're going to do is we're going to find some of the really just easiest brands to target within these categories that we know other resellers are already making money on. So we can see top Amazon seller categories in 2025, consumer electronics and computer, beauty and personal care right here, home and kitchen, reliable source of sales right here. We can see clothing, shoes, and jewelry. Fashion remains a thriving niche. And I'm going to specifically target clothing, shoes, and jewelry brands. One, because it's a ginormous category as we can see right here, but also because clothing, shoes, and jewelry provides a ton of opportunity because there's different sizing on different products. So I can find multiple winning products from just one listing because oftentimes multiple different sizes will also be profitable. So now we have the niche we want to specifically target. Let's also dial in on the specific brands because it's important to note, guys, these specific brands you go after to sell on Amazon have to be reseller friendly brands that we already know resellers are making money on. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT right here, what are some popular Walmart shoes and clothing brands that are good to flip on Amazon? I'm specifically going to target Walmart brands because the nice part with Walmart brands is we know where they come from. We know they come from Walmart here. So plugging in this prompt right here, we can see here are some popular Walmart exclusive shoes and clothing brands. So we know these actually come from Walmart specifically right here. So we can see brand and one athletic works, Avia right here, one or nascent time and true. And now all I'm going to do is literally just leverage the Amazon search data to see what items in these brands sell best. So say I want to do like a via, for example, right here, I can just go ahead and copy that, right? We can plug it in right here and we can see, yeah, immediately pops up like a via socks women. That's going to be the most popular product in this specific niche right here. So plugging this in, I'm not going to worry about these sponsor listings right here, right? But now I can open up these listings that show at the top of the search that I know people are making money on. So for example, I'll open up those here. We'll open up these here, right? Go ahead and take a look. Yeah, $19.99 right there, 100 plus bought these 14 packs. And now I can go ahead and open up a bunch of these and we can see, okay, which these are making money. We know where they come from, right? ChatGPT said they're Walmart exclusives right here. So now taking a look at these here, we can see $19.99 right here in the buy box, right? There's 700 reviews on this listing. So we know people make money on this and it's in a 100K sales rank. For the most part, as a beginner, you wanna make sure you stay below a 200K rank. And then always remember guys, private label listings do not automatically mean private label. They just mean they have a few historical sellers. It's on us to verify whether or not these are actually private label, which we can see this is not the brand here. There's other sellers that aren't the brand as well. So we can see this is not a private label listing. It's just low competition. So we can see on this specific item here, our max cost is about $7 right here. So we can go ahead and plug these in on Google. And we can see yeah, it looks like these Avia socks are 10 bucks over on Walmart. So if we plug in $9.97 here, we can see just about break even on the specific product. However, I can see that the seller on this listing is a merchant fulfilled seller, right? So we want to potentially price above that selling this item via Amazon FBA using what's called the prime bump because we can sell items five to 10% higher, sometimes even more than that by being FBA on a listing. A lot of other folks are FBMing, just using seller and keep it to tell that. So I'm just going to scroll down here and we can see, yeah, so the lowest FBA on this specific product is 22 bucks right there. So plugging that in so we can see that's close. It's not quite there. I want it $3 plus profit and 30% plus ROI on that. So not quite there in red. No problem. We'll keep it moving here, right? We can see these guys taking a look at the Kiba chart right here. We can see not the fastest moving listing right here. Very, very blocky. Not a lot of activity. I want to see some up and down action on those. Not going to worry about those guys right here as well. We can see this is a great looking Kiba chart. And we can see it's going for like 23 Rare. So it's basically either sell at FBM for $19.95 or FBA at 23 right here. So plugging these in on Google here, we can see, yeah, 9.97. That's the nice thing is we know where these items come from. We know they just come from Walmart here. So if I plug in 23 FBA right there, we can see that's $3 profit and a 28% ROI. Can also go ahead and go over to cardbear.com and see if there's any discounted gift cards here on Walmart. Looks like they're a little low right now, but historically they've been a lot higher here. So I think this is a great starting point because say we get like a, you know, 5% discounted gift card here in the future. Now this listing becomes nice and profitable. And this is a great first winning product we can take a look at 
cat here. There's a bunch of other ones here. And now we can go ahead and expand off this by scrolling down here on seller amp and opening up the storefronts of these other sellers to see what else these sellers got. So now when I open up these sellers, they got like 25 plus reviews that I know are making money here. And now we can go ahead and see what else they got, right? So we can see here, yeah, 20 reviews right there, right? Just getting going here, right? So we want these sellers that have, yeah, 167 reviews right here, right? We can see. Now we got these storefronts up. We can see what else these people are making money on right here. So we can see, yeah, 985 reviews. And now immediately using the storefront stalking method, which we got started with just finding reseller friendly brands, found a winning product here. Now we can take a look inside these storefronts and find other winning products from here, right? So we can see, Take a look here. Damn, a bunch of Avia listings, bunch of and one listings, Hanes, et cetera, et cetera, right here, right? Fruit of the Loom, Nautica here, right? So say we look into Nautica, damn, the seller's got tons of socks, right? So say we look at like Fruit of Loom here, right? We can see, yeah, 3 million BSR, not liking that guy right here. Take a look at some of these other Avia listings as well, right? 110K rank, we'll take a look at that here. Right, we can see on this guy here, buy box was 1995 display, we price above that. So that ends up working out right here. We can see 10 pack. Yeah, moving for like 12 though. Not gonna worry about that guy right here. We're gonna see 120K. We'll take a look at that as well right here too. So we can see, now we can see this listings are moving for, yeah, like around like 20 here, right? But remember guys, we're not pricing where the lowest FBM is. We're gonna price where lowest FBA is, which we can see in this case is 23, right? And this listing most likely is the same pricing as the other one there. Yeah, so we can see like 9.97 right there, right? So we get a discounted gift card here on Carbear. They're a little low right now, but say we go higher here, that's not bad whatsoever here. Three bucks profit, 29% ROI. Remember on Walmart, we're sales tax exempt too, because you can submit your resource certificate. So you don't have to worry about that. We can see a little bit lower profit, not bad whatsoever here. And we're getting the ball rolling. This stuff's so helpful as a new online arbitrage seller to be able to look at this stuff and find a winning product or two, and then go ahead and expand off that storefront stocking as well. We need the same thing with like and one, which is going to be one of these like men's brands right here. So say we type in like and one, we can see it's popping up like and one socks and and one underwear and and one shorts here, right? You can go off whatever you want right there. So say we took a look at like and one shorts, for example, here, right? So we go down here, right? We see, yeah, it looks like 50 plus bought. Looks like 22 right there as well. So we can go ahead and take a look at that as well. Boom, pop these guys open right here, right? And now, ooh, interesting. So we can see, so this actually doesn't have a sales rank here. So it's really important, guys. Don't automatically avoid no sales rank listings, right? We need to take a look at, because this has reviews, we know this is actually sold in the past. We need to take a look at the Keepa chart and see if there's actual movement on this product, which we can see in this case, even though there's no sales rank, there's actual movement on this, which a ton of people would make the big mistake of automatically avoiding because of that no BSR. But we can see it's kind of like a hidden product right here because we can see that there actually are people making money on this. And that's where I can see in the off account movement. So now we just want to plug this in on Google right here and we can see taking a look on shopping right here. And yeah, it looks like and one, right? We can pick these up for $9.98 right here. I think there's a three pack as well. So we plug in $9.98 right there. That's not bad right here, right? And a big hack that a lot of you guys aren't taking advantage of is selling items FBM that are actually more profitable FBM compared to FBA. Talked about this in my last video here, but the way we gauge that is we actually need to plug it in. So now, to get the FBM profit, I'm not just subtracting it from here. I'm actually going to scroll down here on Selleramp and toggle this over to FBM and then plug in the estimated FBM shipping cost, which is going to be like, yeah, eight ounces. So it's going to ship for like five bucks right here. So we can see FBA, it's a 32% ROI and FBM, it's a 37% ROI. And that's not even counting any potential discounted gift cards we could use on this listing as well. And now you just want to repeat the cycle here and find the sellers that you know are making money on this. A lot of stuff here that got like, you know, 25 plus reviews. So we can see yeah, like 2,400 right there. And now we can take a look inside their storefronts too and find other stuff from here. And taking a look here, interestingly enough, these are actually a bunch of Walmart specific brands here, a lot of which match up with the list from ChatGPT that we originally got of brands to potentially target from Walmart. And now you can literally run the exact same thing, just typing in like Target or just getting started storefront stocking from here to find other winning products. And we can see we found those two of the sock listings that were really, really close there, right? And we found that pair of and one shorts that was actually profitable today. And then we can go ahead from here and keep this listing rolling. And you just want to keep running this play here. So for example, like these George t-shirts right here, you can look up, literally just ask ChatBT, does George, does Walmart own George brand? So let's see, does Walmart own the George men's clothing brand, 
right here, right? And then we can see it's going to tell us Walmart's the exclusive owner of this brand here. So we know for a fact that this listing has to come from Walmart here. So taking a look, does Walmart own George clothing brand? We can see it confirms it right here. So now taking a look at that storefront, we can go ahead and open up this listing here that we can see is moving for like 36 bucks here, right? Yeah, 37 in the buy box and the highest size right here. So now we should go ahead and plug this in on Google here. We can see 15.98 for these George clothing shirts right here, right? We can see 28% ROI, $4.50 profit. And now once discounted gift card on card bear gets a little bit better here, right? Which we can see they're historically like, yeah, 8%, they're a little bit lower right now. Say we get like 5% off here. Now this listing is a nice profitable product here. We can see it's a little bit high of a sales rank here. But remember guys, this is a ginormous category. Shoes and clothing is a really, really big category here. So this can still totally be good. And I can see this has literally been super, super stable and profitable FBA for so long right here, even though there's no buy box. So don't automatically avoid stuff that has a higher sales rank if it's in one of these bigger categories. Take a look at the keep chart, make sure it actually looks good and don't automatically avoid stuff with no buy box. And that's how you can parlay this. And literally you can take a look at these winning examples we found and storefront stock off other things to find more Procs from here. Let's take a look at some of the ways you can lower your buy costs to create more winning procs according to ChatGPT. So I always talk about how very, very rarely are you going to find items that are profitable at the advertised price on a retail here. So let's ask ChatGPT here. Tell me some tips to decrease my buy cost doing Amazon on the Nerb Josh here. So one way is going to be stacking on coupons, cash back, and gift cards, right? So making sure you have like Rakuten, Retail Me Not for cash back buying discounted gift cards on Raise or Card Cash. I like cardbear.com the best actually right there. And we can see combining store coupons like Kohl's Cash and Target Circle make a ton of sense as well. Using a high rewards credit card or actually a store-based credit card here too. It's a good idea as well. Something I've used a ton is buying multi-packs or bundles and either putting them together or splitting them apart as well as specific items that actually have multiple listings on Amazon right there. Using product research tools like Keep On Selling, if you guys see that all the time in my videos, timing your purchase, so shopping during the clearance cycles, holiday sales, et cetera, et cetera, watching for restock markdowns too, and just keeping an eye on your favorite websites as well. And then avoiding sales tax with the resource certificate, just make sure you're following your state's rules on sites like Walmart, Home Depot, and Lowe's that accept it right there as well. And then I'd also add to this using Capital One Shopping and Coupon Birds to find additional coupons. And always understanding that each website has one or two different tips or tricks that make the numbers work. For example, on Walmart, it's sales tax exempt and discounted gift cards right there. Certain websites operate really only good when they have a sale going on. You'll learn that over time and that makes things way easier. But I love getting started out with this stuff. And I would totally recommend literally running this exact same play with Target, finding a winning product or two, and then storefront stocking to find other reseller friendly brands in those storefronts, those sell other sellers. Don't worry about doing manual sourcing. You can go into random websites and look through the clearance sections. Just focus on getting started like this using AI. Makes it a lot easier because you know these products are proven, you know where they come from, and then storefront stock from there. And so now you know how to use AI to do Amazon product research and you have a choice. You can do this stuff on your own or you can work with me in a proven system through my coaching program. So if you are someone who potentially is interested in getting one-on-one -on -one hand holding directly from me in coaching, take a look at the link in the description for my coaching program application. I have by far the most success stories in the industry. You see them pretty much once a week. I'll post a case study on my channel of a successful student who's crushing in 2025. Literally the past three years, we've had over a hundred sellers really, really succeed with this stuff and everything. So if you're interested in personalized one-on-one -on -one help directly from me, you want to get together one-on-one -on, -one on Zoom, we can source products together. You'll be around other Amazon sellers crushing the game. We also have three group coaching calls per week. I'll plug you in on all my favorite coupons, tips, tricks, and strategies, and just help you save a ton of time. I'll check all your leads for you. So if that's something you're interested in, take a look at the link in the description and go ahead and apply for my coaching program right there. You can put in your information. We can see if it makes sense to work together. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.